lovely Kristen Krebs. Today we are going to be talking about interior design, time management tips, what got her into entrepreneurship, um, some kind of ad key advice that she has for you guys. Can you share with them one tip for interior design that you have? Mm, um, where to hang your art. <laughs> yes. This is one of the number one mistakes I see most often. Um, art should be hung about eye level. So right in the center of the art should be at eye level. Yes. <laughs> so if you are interested in hearing any more about entrepreneurship, how we got started, time management, marketing campaigns, any of those things, be sure to stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Visions by VVR. My name is Tori McPherson and I am joined today by the lovely Kristen Krebs. Yay! <laughs> okay, so Kristen, can you tell us about yourself, how long you've been in business, and what you do? Uh, sure. Um, I am an interior designer. Um, I specialize in ADU, which is additional dwelling unit or what we call granny flat design. Um, and I also specialize in short term rental design. So I do Airbnbs and things like that. So, nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, how did you come to the journey of entrepreneurship? Like, how did you first get started? Can you tell everyone? Um, gosh, I think it probably started when I was a little kid. Um, I, I had a fabric chair in my room when I was a kid, and I didn't like the color of it anymore, so I took wall paint and decided that I was going to paint the chair a different color. And so I think from that moment on, I was like, I'm, this is what I'm born to do. I'm, I'm going to transform rooms. <laughs> That's so awesome. That is so awesome. <laughs> Um, so can you tell us like what was the point of like no return for you when you were like, okay, this is it. I am opening my business. Like I'm <laughs> starting today. What was that point for you? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, it was probably, you know, it was probably one of the lowest points in my career. You know, I was working for, for a lot uh, of people. It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all sure. it takes, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That, that like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was working for a contractor who um, had hired a designer because it was a design build firm, and um, he was just a terrible human. You know, mm. he was um, physically aggressive, like with employees, like mm. throwing books across rooms and stuff. So I was like, oh okay, you know what? I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> so. Check box. No, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to go with that anymore. Yeah. So. <laughs> What is like the big like dream day for for your business? You know what I mean? Like you get to the point where you're making the six figures, like what do you do? Where do you live? Like what's going <laughs> on? Like what's best case scenario for Kristen? Um probably having a firm that just kind of runs itself so I don't have to be involved really. I hear that. Okay. Self sufficiency. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yes. Um, so I'm out laying on the beach while they're all working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, I mean, I do love what I do. So, you know, every day is you know, a blessing in and of itself. So, yeah. um, you know, I, I think I would like to still see myself doing what I do. I just want to do it when I want to do it. On my time. And <laughs> exactly. Still have the income, though, girl. I yes. think that is the flexibility of it, I think, calls and draws a lot yes. of people. It's where I am the creative, I am the mastermind, but I am not necessarily necessary to make the funds or make the sales anymore. Yeah. I think all of us kind of strive to get to that point. That nice. was actually something I didn't even have an intent when I set it up or set yeah. out to get more followers. Yeah. I just promoted it through natural social media channels. Yeah. It wasn't planned or anything like that. It just happened and you know, I grew fairly quickly and I was very surprised. So. Social media is the great form of free advertising, you guys. You are getting your own content out there for free in front of your own audience. If you are not on Instagram or if you're not on some type of platform, Facebook, 
get it together make one today <laughs> do it now <laughs> and become a business that way that's step number one yes. brand visibility yes. you have to have people know be able to see who you are and get recognition that's the first step of getting people to convert with you so get out there <laughs> <laughs> yes. um what was one piece of advice that you heard or that someone told you um, that kind of shifted your mindset about entrepreneurship where you were like in a rut and you were just like oh wow <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I, I think it was probably when that business coach told me that you, you just got to get over your own fear because somebody out there is going to find it so valuable you just got to get over yourself <laughs> yeah yeah so taking that step taking that step because yeah. we would never have been here if we didn't make that decision to say hey I'm gonna take I'm gonna bet on myself I am going to like who's gonna succeed out of all my high school graduates it's gonna be me I would choose me you know what I mean oh, yeah. like <laughs> at some point I feel like every entrepreneur comes to that point where they're like who are you gonna rely on to be successful you know are you gonna rely on these jobs you're gonna rely on corporate industry on things you can't control what if you climb the corporate ladder and then they lay you off because the company closes and then now what like now what are you left with you know what I mean and yeah. so I feel like a lot of people I know you come from that time in 2008 mm -hmm. where a lot of people were getting laid off and it was just just like everything that people had spent years spending their lives into yeah. just kind of <sighs> dissipated <laughs> overnight and so I think a lot yeah. of us were just like hmm maybe that's not as stable as it once was like maybe if I bet on myself I know that I'll always have some sort of income coming because mm -hmm. I know people, I know how to sell, I know I have products, <laughs> I have knowledge, I have, you know, things to offer. So definitely. Yep. No, nobody wants you to be more successful than you. <laughs> that part right there. <laughs> you gotta be your own biggest cheerleader. For especially sure. in the beginning. Yes. Especially in the beginning. Because you're the only one with the vision. So if you don't make it happen, who else is gonna make it happen? Make it make it happen. Make it happen today. <laughs> Take a step today. So, what is the best book that you have read? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, well, because I'm an interior designer and real estate is my business, essentially, um, I have to say Rich Dad Poor Dad. <laughs> oh, yes! I love that one. Yes. And that it one. changes your mindset about everything. You know, the, the decisions you make for finances, mm -hmm. the choices you want to make for your future. So, yeah, that was definitely a game changer for me. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll definitely have to put a book review on that. So, I'll leave a link somewhere <laughs> around here for my book review on that one because, yes, that yeah. is a revolutionary mm -hmm. book right there. Yeah. Um, and can you share with these lovely people a way to contact you of course <laughs> <laughs> so where can we find you online um i am on facebook kristen krebs interiors it's spelled a little funny it's k-r-y-s-t-i-n <laughs> uh, k-r-e b as in boy s uh, interiors Ooh, and same handle for Instagram yes <laughs> Kristen Krebs interiors yes, yes. <laughs> so it's been so great having you with us Kristen oh, you. is Me there <laughs> one piece of advice that you just like have for entrepreneurs like the budding entrepreneur probably like hasn't gotten started yet they've been like plotting on their business <laughs> ideas like what would you I would say first step is you just got to move through the fear. <laughs> it's always going to be there, but you know what? If you just keep pushing yourself, you know, be your own best cheerleader, you'll get there. <laughs> nice. And one other thing, what kind of time management tips do you have for us out there? Because mm. <laughs> I know coming from a corporate environment to an entrepreneurial environment, there is a huge shift when it comes to time management. Because you are your own boss. As, as wonderful as that is, it comes with a responsibility as well. <laughs> yes. So can you kind of share with us your time management tips a little bit? Um, you know, I mean, when you do become your own boss, there is nobody to tell you that you are off topic or that you need to get back into it. <laughs> so yes. um, definitely creating checklists. Or my, I love yes. checklists. And giving yourself time limits for each mm -hmm. item on those checklists. Mm -hmm. 
Is that time blocking? <laughs> yes, time blocking. Uh, yes. <laughs> and juggles. Checklist. <laughs> checklist and time blocking. Thank checklists you. are always great because then you can check it off, and when you check it off, it's like a success, and you just keep getting successes. Yes, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Done. Throw it in the trash now. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for joining us, thank thank you. Kristen. I really appreciate you. So I have worked with the lovely Kristen uh, multiple times. We have quite a few projects that yeah. we're working <laughs> under the under the scenes on that you guys. Will We'll hear more about pretty soon but she is a great interior designer if you ever thought about what you need to do with your home adding any little decor pieces where you need to hang your art pieces in your home or you know how to set up your breathing friendly environments Kristen is definitely your go-to girl so check out her check out her on social media and be sure to subscribe. We do upload weekly onto this channel. So we'll be back next week with another edition. See you soon. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was fun.